Welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. Last time we performed the Juno landing, done science, and returned. Today we are going to perform Eve flyby. We are also going to encounter Eve's moon Gili, perform science experiments there, and return home to unlock even more parts that will allow us to perform even harder mission such as Ju we have upgraded our Kerbal Interplanetary Spaceship to Mark II and added more scientific equipment to it now we're going to perform our usual orbital insertion and because this part is shown many many times already I'm just going to skip it. See you in the orbit. Now, to perform an even counter, we need we need to lower our orbit around the sun so that we encounter Eve. We can do so by burning on the side of the carbon which is facing the sun and burning retrograde to the path carbon is orbiting the sun. As you can see, we leave Kerbin orbit in the opposite direction, but because our relative speed to Kerbin is lower, we can actually get into eccentric orbit around the sun with periapsis low enough to encounter the inner planet. We perform tiny orbital correction to actually meet the EVE where we want it to be. As usual, it requires some finesse and patience. And our encounter is getting closer and closer. In the end we're going to be somewhere around 100,000 kilometers until we perform our next course correction which will happen at the descent node or in other words a point where our orbit will intersect if orbit and we begin our slow slow burn to the interplanetary space Let's speed up the sequence a little bit more. This is playing at 800% of speed. You can imagine how slowly it was going in real time. And our burn is complete. We just have to wait until we leave SOI of Kerbin. And we did it. And we are starting to set up our node to maneuver for the closest encounter with Eve. As you can see, our encounter is going to happen any second now. Boom, we're done. We're just going to tweak it a little bit so that our periapsis is low enough. In the end it is going to be around 270 kilometers or something around this number. Our node is ready. We are finding it on an F ball and time warping. And we begin our maneuver. This burn is actually quite important. We need to make sure that our encounter is close as possible. And this is the point where it is easiest to do. And the burn is complete. Let's do some interplanetary signs. 
gather a crew report, grab an EVA report, and see how our mystery goo behaves itself. And we are entering sphere of influence of Eve. But unfortunately, our bird wasn't exactly as successful as we wanted to be. And our periapsis is kind of in the wrong place. Here you'll see me desperately trying to correct my approach and failing miserably for a couple of tries. Fortunately, after some time I managed to put my orbit where it's supposed to be. And here we see one of the nodes that was used for it. Almost looks like our orbit is going where it's supposed to be. But as you can see, we don't have a periapsis. And that means that we will actually crash into Eve. And we don't want that. So I'm going to create or even do it without a note. Just going to slow myself down a little bit and then create a node to make sure that we have an app up sees around the eve. And we are done. Our apopsis is, is close enough to Eve, but not close enough so that we will land. We are doing small course corrections to make it somewhere around 75 kilometers. An altitude at which error breaking around Eve is possible. And here we are, we are slowly approaching the planet Eve. Let's conduct some science experiments, perform an EVA and all the usual stuff we do. Kerbals are really fascinated by different colors as it seems. And our science is complete, but unfortunately our periapsis wasn't low enough, so we didn't error break into the orbit, so we'd have to burn some of our precious, precious fuel to fix this. Our velocity is gone down, and our orbit becomes more like an orbit, and not escape trajectory. We are at apoapsis and we are going to perform a little burn to make sure that we don't enter atmosphere of Eve again and don't fall down. And it's done. Now let's prepare for the next part of our mission. Change our inclination so that we can encounter Gilly. And on this note, let us end this episode. In next chapter, we are going to perform Gilly flyby, maybe even land there, depending on how much fuel we have, and return home with new science and ability to unlock new and more powerful parts for our ship. Thanks for watching. Remember to like dislike or comment this video. Fly safe and I'll see you in next episode. Goodbye.